Hey YouTube, opinionated reviewer here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock any iPhone that's on iOS 5 or higher. So that includes your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and your iPhone 4S. As long as it's on iOS 5 or higher, it can be unlocked using this method. It doesn't matter what your baseband is, especially if it's that 04.11.08 and the 04.12.01 baseband, it's going to work. So just go ahead and follow the instructions. Now there's two instructions to this there's two different instructions the original instructions did not work for me so I had to do it a little bit different I've been playing with this freaking thing all night it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I finally got it to work and I'm using my iPhone 4 for this so I'm gonna put the link in the description to the original instructions and you guys can see the difference now the original instructions don't ask for you to have a AT&T SIM card which I have an AT&T SIM card and that's what I had to use to get this process done so if you don't have an AT&T SIM card or you don't have a friend with an AT&T SIM card you can go ahead and check out the link in the description for the original instructions and see if those are gonna work for you first if those don't work then you're gonna have to do it this way now you're gonna have to be jailbroken and you're gonna have to be jailbroken on on iOS 5 or higher it can be a tether jailbreak if I'm not mistaken I heard that it works on the tether jailbreak as well I cannot confirm that I'm on iOS 5.0.1 on tether jailbreak so I'm gonna go ahead and just go and jump into the steps so as I said you have to be jailbroken so we're gonna go into Cydia so just go ahead and launch Cydia and if you're not jailbroken, I'm going to have a link in the description to uh, iOS 5.0.1 on Tether Jailbreak and the Tether Jailbreak for iOS 5.1 because it's tethered at the moment. So we're going to go into CDO, we're going to go over to Manage, Sources, Edit, Add, and we're going to add this repo which is repo.bingner. Dot com. I'm going to also have it in the description, so if you didn't see it there on the screen, you didn't pause the video, check out the description, it's going to be down there as well. After it's done installing, we're just going to go ahead and hit um, return to Cydia. So after you finish install it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on the repo right there. We're going to go ahead and touch on Sam. And then we're going to go ahead and install SAM and it's going to install everything else that it needs to install from Cydia, which everything that it needs is in that repo. Now that it's done, I'm going to go ahead and reload. After my device respring, I'm going to come out and now we're going to have to go into the SAM's preference. Now you can go into it from here on your springboard using the icon or you can go into settings and just scroll down till you see Sam right there and then tap on it now in here is where it gets a little tricky and we gotta go ahead and do a little bit of stuff so first of all you're gonna have to go in uh, touch on utilities and you're gonna go ahead and deactivate your iPhone just hit deactivate if you don't see that deactivate button use this deactivate button or even this deactivate if you don't see the one that was just there after you finish deactivating you're gonna have to go in to Go into more info after you finish doing that and make sure that this status up here says unactivated. So make sure that says unactivated. Now what you got to do is you're going to go into manual, tap on that, you're going to select by country and carrier, come back out. And now you're going to have to select your whatever for the chip that you want to use so I'm from I'm using my chip from the British Virgin Islands so I'm gonna select the British Virgin Islands right here and then I'm gonna go back out and select right here it says carrier just select the carrier those are the carriers that we have and I'm gonna use this one which is CCT so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one so if you were using T-Mobile go ahead and select US T-Mobile um, if you're in Canada you want whatever whatever you guys should know what carriers you have wherever you are at Simple Mobile is on T-Mobile Tower, so you're going to have to select T-Mobile, and then I'm going to just select my SIM ID. Sometimes you're going to see multiple SIM IDs. I guess you have to try them and see which one works. I'm glad I only have one. So now that you've finished selected all those, your method, your country, your carrier, and your SIM ID, you have to go into more info again. So now that you're inside the more info tab, and I obviously have it blurred out for a reason. You're going to see 
a couple of options in here. You see this option where it says MMSI? You're going to go ahead and tap on that and you're going to go ahead and copy it. And after you copy it, then you're going to go ahead and pop out your SIM card. And as I said, the original instructions didn't require, don't require you to have an AT&T SIM card. But when I tried it without the AT&T SIM card several times, it never worked for me. So you're going to go ahead and pop that in. And then just come out and go back into your more info. And it's going to change. So you're gonna, after you come back, in, you're going to hit spoof wheel SIM to SAM. So you just hit spoof wheel SIM to SAM. And then you're going to go back out again, and you should see your IC, IMSI out here. If it's not there, you're going to go into method and change it from um, by country and carrier and change it to manual. And then you're going to go ahead and touch it there. You're going to copy that and paste the number that you just copied from before you switch out your SIM card. So I just pasted mine right there. Now we're going to go into utilities again and inside here you're going to go ahead and select attempt activation so just hit attempt activation it's going to respring your device don't get don't panic my device respring now what you got to do is go ahead and connect your your device to your computer and hook it up to iTunes now you have to have the latest version of iTunes for this so I'm going to connect my device to iTunes my computer is on this side when you hook up your device to iTunes make sure you go back into SAM and check to see if your ICC ID and your ICC ID on your computer is the same just double click where you see phone number just click on phone number twice on iTunes and check to see if they're the same now if they're the same then we're on the right track now what you gotta do is just plug your device out of the computer and go ahead and turn off turned off this switch right here right says enable just go ahead and turn that off and after you turn that off you're gonna go ahead and plug your computer phone back into the computer again so I just plug mine back in and you're gonna get a message like this let me turn the phone get a message like that the iPhone which is gonna be the name of your iPhone failed to activate please try again don't worry about it just go ahead and click OK and just close out iTunes and then open up iTunes again and when you open up iTunes again don't worry about this message I get this message for no reason but when you open up iTunes again your phone should be there you should see your phone number that's why I turned it I don't want you guys to see my phone number and you guys can see I get the voicemail thing that I normally get when I'm using when I'm trying to unlock my device now it's gonna take a while to get to catch some service so I'm gonna just give my phone a little while to catch some service pay attention to the time it's 831 now I'm not too sure how long it take how long it took me the first time I did it on my other iPhone 4 but it took me a little while so just leave your device sit for a while I eventually it's gonna start searching up there and then it's gonna catch service and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys when it catches service so I'm back now guys you guys can see up to the top is uh, this is message that comes up and you guys can see up to the top says 826 and I have full bars now it took me about five minutes I can't even remember what time it was but you guys if you're watching the video you remember what time it was to get signal it actually the signal actually came and went and then it came back again so yeah and he says it says AT&T up there but I tell you guys this every time I show you an unlock video I'm roaming on AT&T my device roams on AT&T but it's not AT&T and I'm gonna go ahead and make a call to show you guys that it's not AT&T so I'm gonna actually call my iPhone 4s here I'm gonna put it on vibrate cause it's freaking 8 in the morning hang up on that and the reason I didn't call 611 is because my device is roaming 
and 611 is not going to work because my device is roaming. I'm actually going to pull out the chip. Sorry, but your call cannot be completed. You see it says my call cannot be completed. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my chip to show you guys that it's actually my same CCT SIM card that I put in. You guys can see it's my same CCT SIM card. I'm going to go ahead and actually pop it right back in. And I'm not too sure how long it's going to take, but it normally doesn't take long the second time. This is my AT&T SIM card here. And there's a couple of things you got to know. If you, if you put in a different chip than this chip and the AT&T SIM card that you use, it's not going to work. It has to be the same chip that you that you um, unlock the device with. So if I go ahead and I put in a simple mobile chip right now, it's not gonna work. It has to be that same chip or the AT&T chip that you unlock you use to unlock your device. So if you still wanted to use your device from your AT&T chip, you could still go ahead and do so. But please be aware if you go ahead and you put in a random chip, it's not gonna work. It has to be that same chip that you unlock your device with so my device that I unlock my device with my CCT SIM card it has to be that chip that I put in my device to use if I go and change it to a different chip it's not gonna work I would probably have to go and repeat the process again for it to work so I have to wait for my device to catch signal again so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to catch signal so you guys can see that it actually is the SIM card So you guys can see I got my signal back again that one was a little bit slower than I mean a little bit faster than last time I think that one took about two minutes if I'm not mistaken but you can see it works and I still have my AT&T SIM card in my hand that's not AT&T that's my CCT I'm roaming in the US I'm not in the British Virgin Islands right now if I was in the British Virgin Islands it would say CCT but that's basically how you unlock any iPhone that's an iOS 5 or higher your iPhone 3GS your iPhone 4 and your iPhone 4s it doesn't matter what your baseband is I'm gonna do a video after this showing you guys how to back up this unlock just in case Apple does something so I'm gonna show you guys how to back up that look out for that video the link is gonna be in the description when it's up anyhow with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.